Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX returned to the red zone today as it fell by 14.74 points or 0.26% today and settled at 5,712 points. Market turnover was 6.69 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 8.79% compared to the previous trading day. Renata, Square Pharmaceuticals and Kohinoor Chemicals from the pharmaceutical sector, Brack Bank, Citibank and Prime Bank from the banking sector, and British American Tobacco and Olympic Industries from the food and allied sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the textile sector posted the highest gain of 1.24%, while the industrial sector registered the second highest gain of 0.97%. On the other hand, the food sector posted the highest loss of 1.33%. Four banking, four NBFI and three pharmaceuticals companies were among the top 20 losers today. SK Trims and Industries Dash Garments and Oymex Electrode registered the highest gain while Trust Bank, First Mutual Fund, National Tea Company and Far East Finance and Investment were the top losers today. Trust Bank, First Mutual Fund fell in value today as there was no price limit on the trading of shares due to their corporate declaration. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Northern Duke Manufacturing, Crystal Insurance Company and National Bank Limited increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top two news today. The United States Agency for International Development, USAID, has pledged an additional 202.25 million United States dollars in aid to Bangladesh under the Development Objective Grant Agreement, DOAG. This new funding, formalized in the Sixth Amendment, is part of a larger 954 million United States dollars commitment covering 2021 to 2026. The new grant will focus on enhancing good governance, expanding social and economic opportunities, and building resilience. Leading bottled water manufacturers in Bangladesh have been accused of inflating their profits by up to 420 percent, despite only minor increases in production costs. The Bangladesh Competition Commission BCC, found that these companies colluded to set unreasonably high prices for half-liter bottles, raising the price from 15 Bangladeshi takas to 20 Bangladeshi takas between January and September 2023. This increase, attributed to higher import costs, significantly boosted profit margins, with distributors and retailers also benefiting from the price hikes. A lawsuit has been filed against seven companies for manipulating the market and ensuring excessive profits at all distribution levels. That's all for today. Thank you.